Hello everybody and welcome back. So today on my to-do list, I said I was going to name, I said, I am going to list my top 10 musicians of all time, gospel obviously. That's what I listen to. That's not what I listen to. That's what I know. Anyway, so my top 10 musicians of all time. And this list changes like every week. So this is this week's own. Because I wrote one last week and I've changed it again this week. But then my top three is always my top three, like they don't go anywhere, no matter the circumstance. So from the bottom, Esther Smith. I like Esther Smith because two days ago, I had a dream and I was singing her song. <laughs> I was singing the Maya and Shira, Maya and Shira. And she has been in my head since then, so like, I had to just put her there. But she has very powerful songs. I feel like you should check her out. She's old, so why the phone vibrating my video? She's an old ass, but she still sings. Ah, hey, she's an old woman who hasn't singing since I was a child and is still singing. The songs are really, really powerful. Like, they are based on the word of God. That's what I think I had, Ma. The next thing on my list is Jonathan McReynolds. Jonathan McReynolds, I found out about him like three years ago, and the first song I heard was, Is it cool if we could love? No Gray. And I heard like one line of the song, and the the one line of the song got stuck in my head. Like, I couldn't get it out. And I'm like, man, this guy is good. So I went to find his other songs, and I found God is Good. I didn't have a song And I found Cycles, and I love Cycles. So check him out, too. I mean, he's US, Canada. He's outside of the country as is. The next person on my list is Emoji. Emoji would have been number four, number five, but I feel like he doesn't have enough songs of his own. I all his songs are people so many less than many, 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 many. But I'm not allowed to say that I want somebody. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like he can do better. He has good songs. Like he has songs with all these urban people and he's forcing. But I feel like if if it, this is how album, you will find at least two medleys. It's not a bad thing. I enjoy it. I dance to his with Ohima Messi every time I'm in the bathroom or when I'm tired of what I'm doing in life, I just play it on my phone. But I'm just saying that he can do better. But he's still on my top 10. People didn't make it here. So. Then number seven is Moses Bliss because why not? My first song is Daddy with the Pampa because I, was, I have a very sexy daddy on earth and it's just a daddy in heaven. And I've been hiding my father with the song, so it's always in my head. That's not a good reason. What kind of reasons am I giving? What's your favorite song? Do you know what song do you like? What song do you like? What song do you like? Give me all the song of his. Oh, oh. George doesn't want to mind me. But I feel like that is part is a nice song. A miracle doesn't have. No detail. That's a very beautiful song. This is on my playlist too. Number six is Tasha Cole. Because he's a lady. He's he's I think it's any recent song of hers. But I I like her old song. The song I'm trying to remember. Oh, I sang this song this morning. Let me check on my phone. You still love me, Alfred. Oh, you still love me. That's so good. I don't mean to get emotional, but sometimes I cry. Yeah, I think when I look for the song, it's supposed to be a five minute video, I might get emotional. But yeah, such a cup is my number six. My number five is Victoria Rinde because why not? This woman is spirit filled. She will she will carry you from zero to hero in worship. I'm like the second I heard I heard from her was, Oh Lord, set my heart on fire for you. And since then I have been glued to her worship videos, her original songs, everything about her just screams fire, and I love her. Even for my top three. I would have put it here at number two or something, but I cannot replace that person with her. But she is fire, and I love her for that. And she, oh my God, she's a fine woman. She's a funny woman. She's 
you love hair, you love her friends, you love everything that speaks hair. So yeah, she's my number five. My number four is Dometo. <laughs> Why did I put Dometo at number four? Ah, Dometo. I don't have a reason why he's saying. He just did. My number three is Nathaniel Bassi because anybody that knows him knows that I like to play song. Do you know that? Yeah. Anybody that knows him that I like to play song. Like since I was a child, my father like buys all his albums. So whether I like it or not, you will know the album word for word from song one to song, whatever number it is. And it's amazing because if you like it or not, you will sing with him doing money devotion. And I like that. Because in a way, his songs like impacted my life by force to my father. But now I'm blessed because of it. And up to today, I listen to him because why not? Why not? My favorite song I remember is Jesus to me. But before that, I like someone's knocking at the door. Yes. Then my number two is Messi Chimo, another comedian. Oh my God. She just gave us this. A very, very beautiful child. <laughs> a very hilarious singer. Like, what not to love? You cannot not love her. Like, she, oh my God. She's who she is and so much more. I was in her shaggy at that place that she was. She did not even give her. It was not a quick music. Because when people hit me, I just quit. But she's a motivation. And I love her for that. And my number one, obviously, everybody knows it. No matter what you do, she is not moving anywhere. Than Hamilton. Because, I don't know. From the beginning of time, I love her. And my favorite song from her is Lord of Hosts. Like, they don't play it often, but that song speaks to me. Like, I don't even know what is different in it. There are other powerful songs from her, but I just love that song. So, Dana Hamilton is my number one, all time, every time. When I'm getting married, she has to be there. My... My 25th birthday, I mean, I'm going to be 25th birthday, she has to be there. My child, like, every minute I start getting money, she just be everywhere because. So, yeah, that's my number one. Miss Diana, ain't you coming? Miss Diana, ain't you coming? That's my top 10 gospel musicians for this week. <laughs> of all time, not to know, for this week. And I'm very glad that you stuck with me. You can share your list with me in the comment section. Why look at the screen like that? <laughs> you can share your list with me in the comment section. I'll be very happy to look at you. If you can recommend, I would like to check out your artist too. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.